Hello everyone, I'm here today with a new process video and as you can see I've got some Halloween-y things happening. When I took my trip to St. Louis I went at the very end of September into the beginning of October and the zoo already had all of their Halloween decorating done so we locked out that when we were there we got to see that in addition to all of the normal stuff. Given that I really want to be able to use some Halloween and fall themed things because I have a ton. <laughs> I will never go through it. It would probably take me five years if all I did was autumn photos. So I definitely want to use some here. And I have grabbed out a bunch of stuff. So these particular cards are specific to Halloween. I also have a whole pile that's more just generic fall, but I would prefer to use Halloween specific things first. And then I just have a bunch of stuff with paper and phrases, um, chipboard, Halloween slash fall stickers of all types. I just have a bunch of stuff and I would love to be able to use it. In addition to that, I also have quite a few acrylics in here. And you can see like some of those are Halloween themed. So I wanna go through all of this and just see like, what could I possibly use up here? Because I have it in my stash and I don't want it to sit around unused. All right, I have looked through these and unfortunately none of the four by sixes I have for Halloween have any journaling space. And I do want to have a journaling card over here because this is kind of the start of this set of layouts. So those aren't going to work. So I will have to go into my regular fall ones, but hopefully I can find something that has pumpkins or um, just something that is a little bit maybe more Halloween-y, but we'll see what I find. When I went and looked through my more just fall themed things, I think I'm going to use one of these cards, but I think I'm gonna treat these as two separate layouts. Originally I was thinking like, oh, they can go next to each other, even though like they're quite different. This is specific to kind of the Nightmare Before Christmas movie. This is not. I think I'm actually gonna treat them as separate because then this way I can use one of these and I can just journal right on it. I may even put lines. I might create my own on one of these. And that goes a little bit better with this background, which I really like. And then I can do something separate over here that is more specific to Halloween. So I think I'm gonna work on this side first. So I have to decide which of these do I like better. And I think this was, yeah, this was from a cut apart sheet where it had this on the one side and then the cards on the back. So this is part of the same paper. Oh, look at that right there. So I just cut it in half. So those are part of the same, but they work separately. So I just have to decide which one do, do I like better with this. I'm kind of thinking maybe this one, simply because there's a little bit of a darker orange here and you can see that on the map and up here. So I feel like it draws in the color better, but there's still enough green here where it works with this. But I'll sit and look at them a little bit more and then I'll make my final decision. I think I have decided to go with this one because of the color, but also it's less busy than this one. This one has this text kind of around it and I feel like it's distracting when there's already text here and here. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. Now I have to figure out, do I wanna draw the lines on or just like journal as is? I'm not, I'm not totally sure. I have a fear like that if I put black lines on there plus black writing, it's gonna be too much so maybe I'll just do a little bit of journaling and I'll add some kind of ephemera or something. When I was looking through those acrylics that I had I found this in there and I forgot I had it. It's just clear and it says September and I thought well it was September technically here still when we went even though like their Zootoberfest was already happening I'm thinking maybe I'll just put this kind of up here and then I'll journal here saying, hey, it was only the end of September, but they already had it decorated. And then that can kind of be my generic intro. So I think I'm going to do that. I have to peel off the backing. These things are hard to pick up sometimes. There we go. I have to peel that off and then I will attach it with my mono liquid glue. And this is my favorite way to adhere acrylics. I have found that it works better than glue dots because sometimes you can see those if it's transparent like this one is. And you don't want that. This stuff dries clear, so it's the perfect solution. All right, I have that adhered. And let me tell you, trying to get the backing off of that thing was a total bugger. Oh my God. 
So glad that's done. You can kind of see a little bit where the adhesive is, but that's because it's not dry yet. You will see it still be a little white until it dries, then it is totally clear. It'll blend right into this and you won't notice it. And that's why I love this stuff so much. And I love that because I overlapped it, you can kind of see that orange peeking out. And I think it even accentuates it a little bit. It pops it out a little more because there's something clear on top of it. And I totally love that. So I'm super pleased with that. I don't know that I'm gonna do anything else here, but I did grab out some phrases and my ephemera because you just never know. So I'll consider it. Um, I could put a phrase like under here maybe in green or something that matches, but otherwise I need to save, you know, at least this much, a good chunk of that for my journaling. I found this in my stash of fall stuff and I didn't even really remember I had it. I had all these cut out, but I didn't remember like this was the set that some of these were from and I wasn't finding any green, but there are several on here that have green. However, the only one I think that's really gonna work here is a good time. So I think I'm going to cut out that one and put it right under here and then it pulls in some of that green that I have and I think it'll work nicely. All right, there we have it with it attached. And I love that because a good time fits with several things. We had a good time while we were there, certainly, but it also was a good time to visit because we didn't know we were gonna get the Halloween stuff, but we lucked out and it was there. So I think it's very fitting. Since I am treating these separately now, I took that one away. Now I'm gonna work on the right side here, which is all of my Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. And I know I actually have a Nightmare Before Christmas digital card set. I don't have any of it printed and I'm kind of being lazy. I don't wanna go in there and have to reprint it if I'm honest. So I think I'm just gonna to try to use some other Halloween stuff I have and just make do with that. I have my stickers here. I have all of these other things and I feel like I can make it work just fine. I do also have these. I don't know that this is really going to match with this. These would actually go better on my next layout that I have because it's a lot of pumpkins in it. So maybe I'll save these for that layout instead. Well, even though I said I wasn't going to print, I think I've changed my mind, but I'm not going to do the Nightmare Before Christmas set. I've already got enough of that happening here. I forgot that I have the Halloween Magic set on the Project Life app. So it was $1.99, I think. I bought it, I don't know, whenever it came out. Maybe that was last year. But there are several cards in there that I like. So I think I'm going to print out something to use here. I don't know if it'll be these two exact cards, but I'll print out something. I printed these and I'm trying to decide which ones I like better. I like this simply because it has kind of the orangey and red tones that are in some of this, but then I really just like this because it's kind of creepy <laughs> and it works with that movie theme. And then I also found this in my stash phrases. It says creepy characters. I like this color. I almost wish this was something else, a different color because it doesn't quite go with, with what I have but I feel like maybe I could still use it and get away with it, but I would put it on the outside of the page protector because it's a little bit too big. I don't want to cut it into two if I can help it. So I have to decide between that. Looking at these, I think I like this one better. So I'll probably end up using that. Yeah, I, I really like this, the creepy smile thing. So I'll probably use that. Then I have to figure out, am I going to incorporate this? I can see if I can find anything else in here, but this one's kind of my favorite right now. All right, I found a different phrase I wanna use. It matches a little better because it's brown. Creep it real. I think I'm gonna put it right there. So it kind of works with the stone behind it and these are kind of orangey brown here. And you can see kind of some brown peeking through. I think that's a better option. I have attached that, but I'm going to add a staple here. There we go. So now that one won't have anything else added to it. So we can put that in there. And then I just have to figure out, does it need anything else? I can't really do anything here because I've got something on the left already. Yeah, I mean, there's really not room for anything else because I don't want to have anything up top because this is so bold and kind of in your face. Maybe it's just that, maybe this side is done. So I thought I was done with this one and I had put it in the pocket, but now I've decided I'm not. I was looking at my stickers here and I do have one that actually just says Halloween. 
And so I think I want to put it on top of the Crepe It Reel. I'm gonna cut off a little bit because I just like this length better. So let's see. It's a little bit crooked, I think. This needs to overlap the brown just a little bit like it does on the end. There we go. Just a little bit. Let's see. Yes, that's better. Okay, so we're gonna cut off just that little bit hanging off. And there. Okay, let's put it back in there again and see if it's really done this time. You know what, I definitely like that better because this is so white, it brings in that. I like that they're diagonal from each other. So I think that's good and I'm gonna leave it alone. Less is more sometimes. So thanks for watching me put together another layout for St. Louis. Thanks for watching.